Welcome back to the Gloves Are Off. It's time for us to continue on with a Dump and Change. We're talking about some snow showers here because Nicholas Lindstrom has come out and said, you know what, these snow showers on Howard need to stop. Enough is enough. Now, you brought up a good point when we were on a commercial mm -hmm. break about talking how painful it really is to get the ice in your eyes. Has it ever happened to you before? No. No? So tell me a little bit about it, though. How much of a distraction and a piss-off is it really? Not a lot of snow really? on the grass. <laughs> Not a lot of snow on the grass. <laughs> Not a lot of snow on the grass. No. Good boy. You know what? As a, as a defenseman who played, I used to block a lot of shots. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of times when the puck sat right in front of me and guys would be coming in and they'd spray you. And you, there's nothing like it. Like, you usually get your head down. It's, it's not that I've been hit a lot, mm -hmm. but at least two or three times in my career where I took the full ice chips right in my eyes. And, I mean, that friggin' hurts. And it's not a great feeling. This is supposed to be out of the game. That, yeah. that, like Lindstrom has a point. Mm -hmm. It's not babies being babies. This is a, this is to get a mental game. This is a distraction. This is Howard's all rattled about it. He's punching guys. Sure. And he does have a point that's not what the game was supposed to be. But then if you're in there, you know, maybe your defense and what are you doing? To, how long do you think it's going to take before it escalates and gets to that next level? Well, I don't think it'll take long at yeah. all. It's just, it's a, it's a mind game and if you're already down, then it's going to be just a flick of the switch and it'll, it just totally throws you off, right? So it's, it's smart on one, one side, but it's kind of Well, do you like that dirty. side of it, though? Do you like the fact that they're getting in there and trying to mess with them a little bit? I don't mind that, yeah. See? I like that but kind see, of But what's going to happen, though, is I bet you any money there's a penalty call for it. They're yeah. going to continue to do it until, until somebody, somebody calls happens. a penalty. Yeah. Sure. That'll be it. Um, I want to move on and talk about another series, Canucks Predator series. What's a little bit surprising to me, and I think a lot of people, is the Sedin's inability to really perform in this postseason. Is this a case of Nashville shutting them down, or is this a case, because a lot of what I've heard is that the Sedin's need to be able to find that next gear, and they need to be able to dig in when push comes to shove and get it done when it really counts, because they haven't now for years been able to do it in the postseason. So what do you think it's going to take for the Sedin's to actually dig down and find that next gear? Or do you think it's just a case I, I of their I think somebody in that down? team's got to step up and tell them to, uh, you know, get off the bench. They're they're amazing players mm -hmm. and everything, and they they should not be taking time off. They, they're again they're paid that money to p perform all the time, and when they the team gets into the higher ups into the playoffs and stuff. They should already know that we got to kick it up a gear. You know, everybody's looking to us to perform, and they've been. Uh, and the numbers really speak for themselves too. I mean, they're disappointing. Henrik has one assist in the last six outings. Uh, Daniel five goals in the playoffs, but he really hasn't done much so far in this series. But you're t you need to talk about the one side. See, if if both the Sedins weren't trying, mm -hmm. I'd be bashing them big time out here. It's not, from lack, of not from lack of effort. I think it's a combination of there's too much they're trying to do. Okay. They've got to wait. If you really watch them, they they move the puck to areas. They don't pass tape to tape mm -hmm. because they really they, they know where each other's going to be all the time. You see them not doing that anymore, and you see that another team has done a great job of video and watch sure. what their idiosyncrasies on the to ice. Play too. But mm -hmm. the bottom line is, if they're going to win and be premier players in this game, like the, the Gretzky's, and I go back in all your time, they're players that step up to the plate and they find a way. They've got to find a way, or this team is not going to. Mm -hmm. They're not. Gonna, well, they'll, I think they'll beat Nashville but they're not going to win a Stanley Cup unless the Sedins okay. come on. I want to move on, and you brought up Gretzky, and I'm glad that you did. Rookie card. I don't know if you guys have seen this story. Have you heard about how much his rookie card went for? <coughs> Over $94,000. So my question is, if you had an extra 100 grand in the bank, would you or would you not buy Gretzky's rookie card? Uh, See, you, you paused there. I didn't think you were going to hesitate. Well, back in the day, my brother's a huge Gretzky fan. Okay. And it seemed like every day I, uh, we'd buy hockey cards, I'd end up with that card, and she was guaranteed go night if I'd rip it up in front of me. <laughs> so I probably threw away about well, 500000 five Really? <laughs> See, now this one, the, the, the kicker about this one, it was a rated a 10. So they, you know, they rate the these things on, on the condition. Now this one was rated a 10. Would you spend $94,000 no. on a rookie card? Not a chance. No? No. Oh, by the way, my card is worth $1.75 right now, so I'm moving up. 
There you ladder. go. Your stock it a, is on the rise. It was a dime about five years ago. Now hey. she's moving up. There you I, go. I got a toonie in the truck. I'll buy yours. <laughs> See, there you go. I don't even. Somebody told me that like three months ago. My car. Well, was now you're a big TV. Now you're a big TV star, Brian. So this show. Has It'll go to a dollar ninety-five now. There you go. So I'm, I'm on a rise. Be on the lookout for that. No, one. I wouldn't pay for that because you know what. It's hard for me to play a game and play it at its highest level and say, yeah, I'm not a fan that way. Yeah. I played against the greatest player in the game. It was an honor to play against the man. He is, <coughs> in my opinion, the best player in the, in the game and made people around him so much better. Mm -hmm. That's why I consider him and his work ethic was good. So good on him, but I'm not paying 95. Sorry, Wayne. No, okay. You can buy, Wayne, if you're listening to this, please send me one <laughs> so I can sell it for 95, Wayne, and make some money. There you go. That's a good plan. Okay, uh, our plan next is to play Who Am I? It's Brian favorite. Brian's it's favorite Brian's game. favorite game every week, guys. It really is. Oh, there, buys. It really is. Stay <laughs> tuned. Let's do this Who Am I? Coming there, up buddy. on the gloves are off. <laughs>